Hi, I'm Dr. John Valenza, Interim Dean of the University of Texas Dental Branch at Houston. Welcome to our simulation clinic, the first in the world to incorporate mannequins, multimedia, and the electronic patient record in an actual clinic setting. Dental education has used simulation for many years, the traditional head on a stick with mechanical jaws and plastic teeth. But the contemporary version of simulation has become high tech. Instructors use a variety of electronic tools, such as computers, document cameras, DVD players, and live cameras to deliver content directly to students. Here at the Dental Branch, we've taken that a step further by incorporating the electronic patient record. In this facility, and one like it being designed for our new building, we're taking simulation to a whole new level. Traditionally, we've simulated in the clinic using a patient on a stick. What this has enabled us to do is simulate a lot more clinically what a patient would actually appear to a student, where we can use a mannequin that's a little bit more realistic. We can use an EPR system where the student can record and document the procedures they've done. It allows us to do some lecture capturing, where before we would present and we would not be able to get all the students to interact with our presentation. So this enables us to, at one time, talk to a lot of students and show them a specific procedure. I have used simulation lab for the past, I think, three or four years. And uh, it has made my teaching easier because it has um, the ability to cover all the students in the different stations and um, with a limited number of faculty. We started using it almost immediately once we knew it was available. I really enjoy working in here and the students love it, they really do. It makes learning come alive for them and as one of the students told me, uh, she found it that she learns better from her mistakes than from her successes and she's allowed to make mistakes in here. It mimics the actual clinical setting. So they have a light, they have a chair, they have, you know, the cubicle is pretty much set up the same way it's set up in the clinic. So the students get a feel of how to sit, you know, which is not the same when they have the mannequins down in the, in the basement. You know, how to sit, how to accommodate the lamp, and you know, a lot of things that are very, very realistic compared to what the real world is, or the real clinic setting. Simulation and virtual patients, integrated into all four years of dental education, and the two years of dental hygiene education. This, I believe, is our future. With this model, we will add experiences in simulation with a standardized family of virtual patients. This is not simply students performing more procedures on mannequins. It means supplementing their clinical experiences by treating virtual patients. Virtual patients complete with demographics, medical histories, digital x-rays, photographs, and even digital models. With simulation, we can more consistently and effectively teach medical management, ethics and professionalism, practice management, the full spectrum of things practitioners need to know. In the end, it means training the world's best dentists and dental hygienists. Simulation, taken to a new level, is here now and will be a big part of our future. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. The best is yet to come. All right, where is Dr. Valenza? He's so busy these days. Right, we have some sweet ideas for B-Flash. Absolutely, he needs to talk about the students. If he doesn't show up soon, we'll have to make our own B-Flash, call it S-Flash. Our idea is way better.